Hey guys, it's me Destiny and this video is going to be all about my favorite cosmetics for the past couple of months. I'm going to mix August, because I didn't do one for August, and a little bit of September, but I'll probably have to have another video because I haven't been making videos for a while and I have a lot of products that I've been loving. Okay, so I think I'm going to start off with lip products since those seem to be my favorite cosmetics, lips and cheeks pretty much. Well, foundation, everything. You can see where this is going. <laughs> Let me see. Okay. So I'm going to start off with this one, and I think I've already told you about this one. This is Dior Black Tie Plum. And it's very similar to the color I have on my lips right now, except for this has a little bit more of a red to it. And, I mean, that's the color right there. It's really, really pretty, rich plum color. And it looks great for the fall because it's deep without being too dark. It's very moody and mysterious and very grown up, which is what I think fall makeup is all about, okay? And then after that, I have pretty much a very similar color. I guess you can probably say it's the knockoff to this one. And this is Violin from Black Opal. And again, I think I've talked to you about this lip color. I love that one. The difference between the two, I think the Dior is a little bit more glossy. And then the, um, the Black Opal is a little thicker. It's not really matte or anything like that, but it's not as glossy. It doesn't have that clear gloss to it. And it's thicker. This is a really pretty... Um, Flirt Plushest Lip, uh, Liquid Velvet Lip Color, and it's called Midnight Lace, and I got this from Kohl's, and I really like this. It's like a reddish brick brown. It's really pretty. I mean, I don't know of one person that couldn't wear this type of color. It's really, really pretty. Again, that's Midnight Lace from Flirt, Flirt Plushest Lip Color. I like this one a lot. The next one is just a cover girl and it's kind of like a chapstick and without not a chapstick but like um I don't know a solid lip gloss what are they calling it I don't know it's just a really pretty lip color it's really sheer it's really purple it's called edgy and I probably even showed you this one I like this one a lot it's sheer gives you a little bit of color without being too heavy or sticky and you don't have to worry about it getting on your teeth and stuff like that the next products I'm going to show you are blushes and I have really been liking um, this Maybelline blush. It's called Coco Countdown. And it's very, very similar to Sweetest Coco from MAC. Okay, so I have the two blushes. And looking at them, they are very similar. Okay, so this is Sweetest Coco from MAC. Right there. And this is Coco Countdown from Maybelline. Right there. And here they are together. I never realized how similar they were, but I knew that I loved them both. So there they are together. Sweetest Coco and Coco Countdown. I love these because they kind of give you a little hint of red, a little shimmer, but they're very natural, so you won't have to worry about, especially if you're uncomfortable with color. Um, you don't have to worry about too much color or being feeling like really out of your skin, out of your comfort zone, but it still gives you a really nice... Uh, pop of color on your cheeks is really pretty. Um, the next one I'm going to show you is also from MAC and it's called Breezy. And I really, really like this color a lot because it's really, really pretty. It's, it's one of those colors that are bright but not too bright. And it just blends very nicely into the skin. So you almost, it almost gives you a very natural blush even though if we did have a blush color it probably wouldn't be this color it's kind of reddish raspberry in a way but it's very very pretty i like this one a lot love mac blushes the next one is also a mac blush which i haven't really used much but i really can't wait to start using it a lot more and it's dirty plum and the back of it is filthy but this is it right here and that's called dirty plum it's a matte but it has shimmer in it and it's uh, from the Liberty of London collection. It's filthy but dirty plum. I really really like this one a lot. It's a purple obviously right here and it's gonna look great as not a, not a blush to go on the apples of your cheeks but kind of on the sides to almost create somewhat of a contour. I think that would be gorgeous. That would have actually looked really nice with the look I have on today. So that's Dirty Plum. I like that one a lot. 
The next blush I'm going to show you is from Black Radiance and it's called Plum Sorbet. And though they're both plums, they're not similar. Plum Sorbet is a little bit more red and the Dirty Plum is a little bit more blue toned. Here they are together. Really, really pretty. I have that on today. That's Plum Sorbet. And I like this one a lot. It's really pretty. It's a really pretty cheek color. It's a pretty lip color. And if you like that tone on your eyes, you can use it as an, as an eye color. Okay. It's really, really hot. And I know I'm really, really shiny. And I'm like kind of moving slow. But dog is hot here. Okay. So this one is called Soft Sun. And it's from L'Oreal True Match. And it's a warm blush. And this is it. It's broken. Uh, maybe I can just swatch it. It's kind of like a soft bronzy peach color. But I like this one a lot because it looks great as a blush. It looks great as a highlight. Kind of reminds me of Orgasm. Of NARS Orgasm. And that's it right there. I'm not sure if you can see that. Well, you should be able to see. I'm using my new fabulous camera. Um... Ooh, it's breaking up so terribly, but I'll probably put it back together. Okay, and then my next um, favorite product is actually from Neutrogena, and it's a foundation, and when you see it, you're going to be like, what the hell? Um, it's a powder. It's the Neutrogena Skin Clearing Mineral Powder, and this one is in tan, number 80. And I use this as a highlight, and I think it's perfect because it's lighter than me, it has like a little bit of a yellow tone to it, but it's not too light and it doesn't make me look ashy. So it's great as a highlighter. And there that is right there. And again, that's New Eugenia Skin Clearing Mineral Powder in Tan. Another powder that I've been using a lot lately and really loving the effect that it gives my skin. It's full coverage powder and it gives really great coverage. It has a really great undertone. And I don't know why I'm swatching it because it blends right in, but I really like this powder a lot. And this is from Cover Effects in number B35, and it's called Powder Effects. The name of the company is Cover Effects, but the name of the powder is Powder Effects, and I have makeup all over all my makeup. So there that is right there, Powder Effects. And it's called, it's in number B35, and it's a really soft, full coverage powder that really gives you... Great coverage, great undertone, without looking powdery or cakey or distorting you. As long as you get the right color, of course. It's really, really pretty. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and jump to um, this foundation I've been using a lot lately. It is the Maybelline Mineral Power Foundation in number Dark 3. And I'm loving this foundation right now. It gives you a really light coverage. Not really light. It gives you a really good coverage. It's buildable. It's oil-free, SPF 18, and it's just a really, really great foundation. I'm trying to find anything else interesting that I might tell you about it. I just like it. I think I have some of it on. I have like three foundations on right now, but a lot of my videos prior to this one, I've been wearing this, and I've been wanting to talk about this and do a review on this for quite some time. I actually found some of these on sale, and I have quite a few of them. So again, that's Maybelline Mineral Power Foundation in number Dark 3, and I really like this one a lot. I like everything I'm showing you a lot so I think I'm going to stop saying that right now. The next two items that I'm going to show you are mascaras and they're both from Maybelline. In case you haven't noticed, um, Maybelline is my favorite drugstore brand especially for foundation and mascara. Okay so this is the falsies which you've heard a lot about. Lots of mixed reviews. I happen to love it. I think the brush is awesome and I love the fact that it has fibers in it so it really helps to add length and volume but this is more of a volume mascara which is why some people give it a bad review because they say it's not giving them length it's more about volume with this mascara this one is more about length I use this on my bottom lashes and I use this on my top lashes this is Maybelline Lash um, Stiletto and it's waterproof and I like this one a lot because of the way the brush tapers I can wiggle it down in my bottom lashes and it gets every one and it really helps to give them length so this is a lengthening and people complain about this because it doesn't make their lashes thick. It's lengthening. You know, you gotta pay attention to the products you buy. My next favorite items are these sponges and I really like them a lot because 
They're inexpensive, they give you great coverage, and you can see I've been using the crap out of this one. And then this one's a little bit different. They give you great coverage, they give you the most natural coverage. And they, when you bounce over your face, absorb oil. I should probably use a clean one, huh? But um, this one is from Makeup Forever and it's $12, okay, for one. I love Makeup Forever, but I found these in the beauty store and these, I think you get eight for $2, so you be the judge. I mean, this one is bigger, but I mean, it does the same job and I really like these a lot. You wet them, I think these are latex free, so it doesn't absorb too much of your product and if anyone out there is allergic, it's really good. I love these sponges to death. The next three, well, the next four things I'm going to show you are sponge uh, brushes. Loving these four brushes. This one for all over powder, all over my face. I bought this from Dwayne Reed in New York. It's a Look New York brush, and um, of course you don't know. In co in case you don't know, Dwayne Reed is a drugstore in New York, so you may not be able to find this. But don't worry about it because it's overpriced. Although it is an awesome brush, it's thirty dollars. So let's like a little ridiculous I got it on sale and I had a discount and I used to work there so there you go this one is the Sonia Kashuk stippling brush which I use daily I love this for applying foundation especially the one that I just showed you it gives you a really really nice finish and it gives you a really natural finish and it really really helps to blend your foundation out very well dual fiber stippling brush from, from Sonia Kashuk from Target these one these these last two brushes are actually also Sonia Kashuk I love this one for in the crease and for under the eye and for a concealer it's very soft it's tapered and it blends very very well very well and then this one I love for blush and all over powder I actually applied the blush that I have on today with this one I actually prefer more of a brush that goes like that for my blush so you can apply it in layers like that but this one is awesome and I love the way they're taped they're tapered and the way they're shaped so you can hold them no matter what hand you use or how you hold your brush this one you're gonna find a very comfortable way to hold it the last three pro well the last three products I'm gonna show you um, are nail polish this one is from Borges and it is called stellar note and I have to get close to you because I really want you to get the full effect of this it's purple green and black and it is awesome so that's stellar note and I hope you can see that very well it's awesome awesome this is such a pretty nail polish if you're looking for a really unique nail polish that's definitely one of them the next one I love because it goes with my um, my lips most often is um, OPI and it's called black cherry chutney and it's a really really deep purplish red and it has some gold um, dual chrome in it. It's awesome. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. I have it on my nails right now, but I've applied so many coats that you probably really can't see. But it's awesome. And then I have one more to show you. I just want you to get the full effect. Okay, the last one I'm going to show you is called Cheese Skis in the Pyrenees. And it's from OPI. I really like this one in particular because it's dark. It's very dark, a nice smoky gray, but it's not black. And I like to use this on my fingers and toes because it gives a very dark look without being super, super black. Um, so depending on, I guess, your skin tone, it will look a smoky gray to an off ashy black. And I really, really like that one a lot. Uh, I really don't wear so much black nail polish anymore. But I think I'm going to go get a really pretty nice shiny black nail polish and kind of mix these and do some really cool effects. This, a black and a white nail polish, should look really, really cool together, look pretty, do some nice splatter effects. So that's pretty much it for my um, favorites. I know this video is going to be really long, but I had quite a few and I have quite a few more actually. And I wanted to say that I know I'm going to get a lot of questions about this makeup or at least I think I will because it came out really nice and I really really like this type of look. If you would like a tutorial on how to do this then just leave comments in the bottom bar. In the bottom bar. Just leave me a comment. Um, everything I use on my face will probably be in the bottom bar, down bar, whatever you want to call it. 
um, but it's just basically a lot of cream contouring I really want heavy on the contouring my face is beat y'all it is hot and then I'm about to go wash it off as cute as it is um, it's a lot of cream foundation so it's not really suited for this 103 degree weather that LA is currently torturing me with <laughs> It's so hot, and this scarf is just a really, really, really huge scarf, tied to the front, twisted, bought back, and everything loose is wrapped up under. I'll have a tutorial probably on both um, the face and how I wrap my scarf. My throat is so dry, it is so sweltering hot. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you've seen some really cool things that you like or have or might want to try. Any questions or comments, definitely leave them below. I'd like to thank all my friends and my subscribers, both new and old, and I'd like to say I'll be in touch, and hopefully you'll do the same. Thanks, guys. Bye.